Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about monopole striking radar in amplitude comparison with two coordinate system. So we know already I have explained in the previous video <coughs> monopulse. Monopulse is nothing but we are using for the entire operation we are using single pulse. Single pulse. So we are tracking the object or a target using single pulse. Okay, so tracking is nothing but identifying the position of the target first and once the target is identified by the radar system, next target, next purpose is to track the object. That means estimating the future position of the object. So for that purpose, instead of using multiple signals, we are using single pulse. So how a single pulse is using to help, is using to track the target? <coughs> nothing but we are using number of feeds instead of single feed we are using two different feeds okay uh, in the single coordinate system i have explained in the previous video amplitude comparison can be done in two ways <coughs> actually monopulse tracking radar uh, monopulse tracking radar works with two different ways one is amplitude comparison <coughs> amplitude comparison monopulse tracking radar and the second one is phase comparison phase comparison monopulse radar so what do you mean by amplitude comparison and what do you mean by phase comparison in monopulse tracking radar i am saying that the single pulse is transmitted with two different feeds with two feeds, two or minimum two or more feeds. Okay, that means in previous, till now we have used the tracking radar like uh, conical scan method or uh, uh, sequential scan method. In such ways, we have used one single antenna with one feed with multiple pulses. But whereas in monopulse tracking radar, we are using single pulse from single feed with like that we are using number of feeds so we can use two feeds or three feeds or four feeds or depending upon the number of feeds we can use the number of pulses okay that means what do you mean by this one feed for one pulse <coughs> one feed for one pulse okay so in the previous <coughs> video i have explained about amplitude comparison data that is one coordinate system one coordinate system okay so one coordinate system means either horizontally or vertically that means azimuthally or elevationally it covers only one direction azimuthal direction or elevation direction but now in this video i will explain about two coordinate system whereas it covers both the directions as azimuthal and as well as azimuthal and as well as elevation okay both are possible with the help of uh, four feeds here in this <coughs> amplitude comparison monopole stacking radar with the two coordinate system, we, I am using four different feeds. These four feeds are helping us to determine the position of the target, future position of the target. Okay, so amplitude comparison two coordinate system using monopole stacking radar. <coughs> in the next video, I will explain about the phase comparison monopole stacking radar. See, this is the block diagram of the monopole stacking radar in amplitude comparison for two coordinate system see here i told you four different feeds are used so one parabolic antenna one parabolic plate is there with four feeds what do you mean by feed feed is the power received or power transmitted device okay so here four feeds are there this is first feed and this is second feed and behind which we have a third feed and this is the fourth feed Okay, so these are the four different feeds we have in this amplitude comparison monopole stacking radar with two coordinate system. Two feeds are working for one coordinate and two feeds are working for another coordinate. <coughs> okay, so what are the uh, two angles? One is horizontal. Horizontal is nothing but azimuthal. Okay, and another one is vertical. Vertical is nothing but elevational. Okay, so these are the two different angles that can be covered using these four feeds. Two feeds are working for one direction and two feeds are working for another direction. <coughs> now coming to this transmitting section, 
see in the complete uh, tracking radar systems we are working for only the uh, improvement of the receiver not for the transmitting section transmitting section is al already decided in the previous sections okay so we can transmit a pulse waveform we can transmit a continuous waveform or any type of modulated signal that depending upon the requirement as here we are using pulses the name clearly tells that it is a uh, yes, mono pulse okay so we are using pulse transmitter so a transmitter is there and ATR add the transmit and receive add the transmit and receive transmit and receive these are the different types of duplexer <coughs> okay so duplexer is nothing but here we are using anti transmit and receive the output of this one is given to tr so transmit and receive the output of this one is given to this here we are using four different hybrid channels four different hybrid junctions so this is the first junction hybrid junction this is second one and this is third one and this is the fourth hybrid junction okay the transmitted signal this is the only transmitted signal we have <coughs> the transmitted signal is connected to this hybrid junction through this way okay that transmitted signal is going into this feeds through this hybrid junction okay so the output of this one is given to like this and like this the output of this one is given to this one these signals will be applied to this feeds and field will be transmitting the signal into the free space four different waveforms will be coming four different pulses are being transmitted with four different feeds now here <coughs> during reception during reception what happens these four uh, feeds are used to receive four different pulses these four pulses are entering into this hybrid junction this is the first signal that is entering into this hybrid junction so that goes into this direction and again this is the second signal that goes into this hybrid junction this is the third one that goes into this one and this is the fourth one that goes into this direction now the output of this feed the output of this feed from the receiver is entering into the two hybrid junctions one is this one and another one is this one this one and this one these two are the receivers output that means the receiver signal is entering into these two hybrid junctions we know hybrid junction hybrid junction is having four different slots what is the purpose of four slots when the signal is entering from the two different slots the resultant signal will be going into two other channels one is the summing channel another one is the difference channel that means suppose a and b are the two signals that enter into the hybrid junction a plus b is coming out from one channel and a minus b is coming from other uh, output a port okay four different ports are there <coughs> that means the output of this one is given to this like this some some version will be going like this and difference version will be going in this direction and similarly here also from this uh, fourth uh, hybrid junction the sum channel is coming out from this one and the difference channel is coming from this difference output so next the output of this again is connected to one more hybrid junction this hybrid junction again uh, adds these two signals and produces a difference between these two signals <coughs> so the output of this one is given to uh, two channels one is elevation difference channel another one is azimuthal difference channel i told you already this entire operation is used to produce two different angular errors so one is azimuthal angular error another one is elevation angular error so azimuthal angular error and elevational angular error these two errors are carried out through the operation of entire two channels that is nothing but elevational difference channel another one is azimuthal difference channel okay and see here uh, the received signal is passing through the mixer mixer what is the purpose of mixer rf signal received rf signal will be converted into if signal so rf signal here it is going to be converted into if signal after mixing with the local oscillator signal and the output of this one is given to if amplifier after that phase detector okay the same operation what we have encountered in the case of a single coordinate monopole stacking radar here also we are using the same but here we are using two different channels instead of working for only one uh, channel here we are working for two different channels so that means the purpose is to identify two different coordinates like uh, azimuthal and as well as elevational so the output of this one is given to one phase detector here 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 also phase detector phase sensitive detector <coughs> so after this detection we will be having 
so uh, elevation angle error and as well as azimuthal angle error also the sum channel what is the sum channel sum channel is nothing but which adds all the signals suppose four different feeds are there a b c d a plus b again plus c plus d see here from where it is coming i will explain uh, let us consider this as a and this as b okay so the sum channel from this sum channel will produce here it is a plus b okay and take this uh, fourth hybrid junction uh, the outputs like c and d these are the c and d feeds the output from c and d feed is a sum channel it is c plus d so c plus d when entering into this hybrid junction see this is c plus d and here it is a plus b again these two are passing through this summer and as well as differential <coughs> so this sum produces a plus b plus c plus d okay and this produces something like a plus b minus c plus d okay so that is a depending upon the operation whichever we want like azimuthal angle error or elevation angle error and this sum channel a plus b plus d that is used to identify the range of the target that's why it is given through the normal receiver channel like a tr mixer if amplifier and amplitude detector amplitude detector is used to detect what is the difference between the amplitude from pulse to pulse so that it identifies the range what is the distance that the target is located after that it is normally passing through the cvd amplifier and then it is used to identify the range this is what the two coordinate system block diagram let us see the mathematical operation how just uh, this output of these feeds are going to be acted see in the two coordinate amplitude comparison uh, monopole stacking radar the feeds are four different feeds we are using so a b and c d okay this is the front view of the this is the front view of this horn antennas what we have used in the previous block diagram okay so a b c d these are the four different feeds that we, are, we have there so output gives azimuthal angle elevation angle and as well as sum i told you already sum is nothing but a plus b plus c plus d sum is nothing but which is summation of all the three received all the four received signals a plus b plus c plus d and azimuthal angle azimuthal angle is equal to see azimuthal angle what do you mean by azimuthal angle which is nothing but horizontal which is nothing but horizontal so in the horizontal we can difference we take the difference in this way so a plus c minus b plus d so a plus b c minus b plus d and in the vertical direction like elevation direction what we have a plus b minus c plus d okay so i will write here what are the different possible outcomes and so all four feeds all four feeds are used to generate all four feeds are used to generate some pattern like a plus b plus c plus d and azimuthal angle so azimuthal difference channel <coughs> azimuthal difference channel that is a plus b a plus b minus c plus d okay a plus b which are in vertical they are added here okay see the previous diagram a plus b a plus b azimuthal angle is a plus c sorry it is a plus c minus b plus d <coughs> it is a plus c i will write again a plus c and b plus d okay so a plus c and b plus d <coughs> azimuthal angle is nothing but a plus c minus b plus d see a plus c we need to add these two a, a plus c minus 
B plus B. And similarly, elevation angle is A plus B. We need to add first horizontally and then subtraction vertically. So, A plus B. So, elevation difference channel. Elevation difference channel. That is A plus B <coughs> minus C plus B. Okay, so this is the way to identify what is the angular error between uh, the four feeds in vertical direction and as well as horizontal direction using monopole stacking radar to coordinate system. Okay, thank you.